So five years ago, we had just had our first of three kids and then her mom was diagnosed with uh, stage four cancer. And through all that, we were really, even though we had friends, we were living in a, just a spiritual isolation. And in that isolation, sins that had been just hidden in my heart festered and turned into addictions. And those addictions turned pretty much into self-destruction. We were at a place where our marriage was just crumbling. When everything started happening and um, things just started kind of falling apart, mostly I stayed in just crisis survival mode. The season of life we were in when we first came to the bridge, we were seeing a marriage counselor. And around the same time we started seeing the marriage counselor, we joined our community group. The first night of community group was just kind of hanging out, playing games. We didn't know anybody. The person that invited us didn't actually come to that first community group. So we showed up and these people just made us feel welcome. I'm naturally, I'm introverted. For me, going to something where I literally know nobody um, is extremely frightening. So yeah, after that icebreaker night, you know, we were still going through a crisis and we're like, can we trust these people? <laughs> and I remember the group host invited me over to like watch a football game, which I hate football, but I went anyway because I needed a community and met some people that were in the group there that night too. And really grew to be like, I can actually trust these people with, with my problems a little bit. But then the, the second time we came back, um, I remember we split up guys and girls and uh, I, I went below the line of shame and I, I confessed the, the, the deep, shameful things that I was going through. Instead of these people saying, we reject you, what, how, how dare you even bring stuff like, who are you? I felt loved and I felt accepted and it just brought, just immediately there was freedom. Several of those guys I still text on a weekly basis below the line of shame of what of what we're going through and we're praying for each other. But after about six months, the marriage counselor said, I'm gonna have to terminate you guys as clients because I can't help you. He told me, Andy, it's because of your addiction. And I could have left that session feeling like that's who I am, I'm my addiction. I am what I'm going through. I am my sin. That's my identity. And because of the group and how they were consistently pouring into us every week, I mean, we got that consistent reminder every week, like, you are a child of God. You are loved. You are uh, not your sin. You are not the brokenness. You are not the crisis that you're going, to, going through. And so because of that, we felt hope. We felt, okay, I think we're going to make it. We're going to be okay. I, I feel like I'm just trying to get through each day and um, I knew that I could like reach out to them. Those are the people, those are the people that I can reach out to at midnight. Those are the people that uh, I could go and knock on the door and be like, I really need to talk to somebody. I feel like those ladies just kind of like took me and lifted me up back to where um, they started showing me like, this is who you are. Like you are, you are not, um, what you're going through. You are a child of God.